Hello students, welcome to the chapter data handling. This is the part 13 of this particular chapter. I hope that you have watched the other parts of this chapter. If not, you can always check out. I have given all the links to the other parts in the description. So today we are going to discuss about errors and its type in Python. So let's begin with the concept of error. See, when you write a program in Python or any programming language for that matter, you expect your program to run correctly without any mistake and you should also get the desired output but if you do some mistake in the program or if your computer is having some problems then you might not get the desired output or you might not get any output at all so these situations are referred to as errors so going by the formal definition we can say that an error is anything in the code that prevents a program for, from executing correctly if your program is not able to execute or run correctly, then we say that an error has occurred. An error is also known as bug. Remember, an error also has a different term. That term is also referred to as a bug. Let's go to, through the classifications of errors. See, errors are classified broadly into the following categories. The first category is compile time errors second is logical errors and the third is runtime error we'll be discussing about all the three categories of errors now so let's begin with the concept of compile time errors what is compile time error now if the statements in our code are not meaningful or the rules of programming language are violated they are referred to as compile time errors see two things are here now whenever you write a particular python code unintentionally you might make some mistake let's say you have to give a equal to sign you have given a plus symbol let's say you have to uh, give the quotation symbol but you are not giving the quotation symbol or if your statements are not meaningful enough then also the type of error which you will get is this known as the compile time error okay two things code is not meaningful and the programming language rules are violated so if you do these two things, then the type of error is known as compile time errors. There are two categories of compile time errors. They are syntax errors and semantic errors. Let's go to both these two types of errors one by one. We'll begin with the concept of syntax errors. Now, what is syntax error? Before going to the concept of syntax error, let us try to understand what do we mean by a syntax? Now, while teaching any uh, topic related to Python, just after teaching the uh, topic, before going to the actual application, I give something known as the syntax. Syntax means what? Syntax means the rules that are to be followed while using a particular concept related to a programming language. Let's say for assigning a variable, let's say for assigning the variable x by the value 5, we should write x equals to 5. Now, if I write just x5, will you get the correct output? No, you will not get the correct output. Why? Because it is violating the rules of the programming language. Okay. So, remember syntax means what? Syntax means the rules that are to be followed while using a particular concept. Now, if the rules are violated, it results in syntax errors. But if you violate those rules of a programming language, it will result in a type of error. That error is known as syntax errors. Going by the formal definition, we can say syntax errors are those categories of errors which occur when the grammatical rules of a programming language are violated. Now, if you violate the rules of a particular programming language, the type of errors which you will get is the syntax error. For example, if I write print hello, here you can see that after hello, I should have given a quotes, but I haven't given the quotes. That means what I have done, I have violated the rules of the Python programming language here. Therefore, I'll get an error here. Now, if you can just see the highlighted part, just near the word hello, I'm getting an error here. That means the error is in that particular part. Now, what type of error is that? It is the syntax error as you can see here let's demonstrate it so if i just open the terminal if i just write print 
let's say hello and I have forgotten to give this one uh, the quotes obviously you may forget sometime because we are humans so if I just press the enter key I'm getting an error here now when you get an error you should not just panic and try to just look at the code before looking at the code you just see what is written there syntax error end of line while scanning string literal that means it was trying to scan a string hello is supposed to be a string but while trying to scan a string it is finding that we have not terminated the string therefore what we have done we have violated the rules of the python programming language therefore this category of error is referred to as the syntax error let's go to the next type of compile time error which is the semantic errors now semantics what do we mean by semantics semantics refers to the set of rules which gives meaning to a particular statement now the rules which give meaning to a statement it is known as semantic error therefore if we try to write such type of python statements which are not meaningful then it will result in semantic error now while showing it it will show as a syntax error only but if the uh, programming code are not meaningful then actually it is referred to as semantic error theoretically so the errors that occur when statements are not meaningful are known as semantic error for example let's consider these three lines of code a equals to 3 b equals to 5 and a plus b equals to c now generally going by the programming rules it should be like c equals to a plus b but here we have not violated any syntax also okay but what is the wrong thing we have done we have what we have done we have given an expression towards the left hand side but by the going by the meaning it's wrong because the statements like a plus b or the expressions like a plus b it should be in the right hand side because here in python equal to symbol does not mean lhs equals to rhs equal to symbol means whatever thing is there in the right hand side it will be calculated and it will be stored in the left hand side but now here how will be the value of c get stored value of c cannot get stored in a plus b had we written c equals to a plus b then our code would have been meaningful but we have written a code which is not meaningful now therefore i'll get an error which is can't assign to operator okay you cannot assign to an operator in the left hand side in the left hand side you should always have a single variable only theoretically it is known as semantic errors but while showing while being displayed in the code it will be displayed as syntax errors itself let's try to implement it so if i write a equals to 7 b equals to 4 if i write a plus b equals to c then i am i am getting an error here but if i write c equals to a plus b and then like print c i'll get the correct answer without any error so here i have written a statement or an expression which is not meaningful okay so if you write a statement which is not meaningful then it will result in the category of error known as the semantics error let's go to the next type of error which is known as the logical errors say sometimes uh, the program gives the output but it does not give the desired output now if now when will the program not give desired output the program will not give desired output if you make some uh, mistake in the logic let's say you are asked to find out the sum of two numbers and by mistake in place of plus you have given minus there now will you not get the output yes obviously you will get the output but the output that you will get it will not be a correct one it will be an incorrect output so in those cases the type of error is known as the logical error so the type of errors that occur due to wrong analysis and interpretation of a particular pr problem are called logical errors so if you analyze the program or interpret the program wrongly or the program is not doing that what it is asked to do let's say i have given you a particular pro uh, program to solve but you did not understand it well but you have done a program related to it but it is not positive producing the desired output then the category of error is known as logical error 
logical errors results in unexpected output no it will not terminate the program but it will result in an unexpected output let's go and try to understand logical error let's say you were asked to write a program to add two numbers okay so let's write a program to add two numbers okay let's add two numbers let's take a variable x x equals to let's say int input entered uh, like first number let's receive the first number you know all these things right i've already taught it to you y equals to int input enter the second number now let's write z equals to x minus y so print let's say sum is comma z now if i run this program it is asking me enter the first number let's say 9 enter the second number let's say 2 now what you are getting in the output you are getting the output as sum is 7 but for addition of two numbers what should be the out, uh, output the output should have been the addition of 7 and 2 uh, 9 and 2 which should have been 11 but you are getting 7 here that means you are getting an unexpected output why you have got an unexpected output because you have interpreted the program wrongly there is no uh, problem in the syntax nor in the semantics but here instead of plus you put minus wrongly therefore it is giving you an unexpected output so what category of error it will be it will fall under the logical error so if i just correct it now for 9 and 2 i'll get the result as 11 that's known as the logical error let's go to the last type of error which is known as the runtime error now the errors that occur during the execution of a program are called runtime error let's say the program ran fine and while you were running the program in the midway or while running you were getting some problem like the program is crashed or the software has crashed so these types of error which occur when a program is running it is known as the runtime error now these types of errors stop the execution of a program which is often known by the terms as program crashed or abnormally terminated now in case of runtime error sometimes what happens the software in which you are doing it crashes or abnormally the program will terminate these types of error are known as runtime error runtime error also occur due to lack of available memory to execute the program let's say you have very low space in your system because of that the program is unable to run properly then also it falls under the category of runtime errors now how to handle the error so by now we have understood about the different types of errors but now let us see how to handle these different categories of error now we have a term for that which is known as debugging what do we mean by bug bug means a mistake or error debug means correction of those mistakes is known as debugging so it refers to the process of locating the place of error locating the place of error means where the error has occurred cause of the error means why the error is has occurred and correcting the code accordingly so when you get an error you should try to locate where the error has occurred like just now i got a logical error over there so i saw it line by line as to where i have done the mistake where i have done the mistake means i am trying to locate the place of error cause of error means why the error has occurred and after we can know the location and the cause of the error we can correct the code accordingly and it is referred by a term known as debugging now an error which causes disruption in running the program or in producing the right output is known as bug i have already talked about bug bug means an error or mistake in computer it is referred to as a bug now wha what does the process of debugging involve debugging involves rectifying the code so that the reason behind the bug gets resolved and thus the bug is also removed now with the help of the process of debugging we will rectify the code so that we know the reason and for rectifying we should know the re reason behind the bug let's say you uh, 
you were running a python program let's say sum of two numbers only in front of such a person who do not know the rules of python now as you run it he might see that an error has occurred but can he debug the program no he will not be able to debug the process program because he will not know, know the place of error and even if he know the place of error he will not be able to know the cause of error now how you will know the cause of error you will know the cause of error as um, you go through the as you dig deeper and deeper into the python programming language the more efficiently you uh, learn any programming language the more efficiently you will be in the process of debugging debugging is a very essential skill for programmers okay so that's all for today uh, i hope that this session was useful thank you very much